We all need a helping hand sometimes, even animals. From flowers denting the teeth of crocodiles to honey badgers and honey guys cooperating in order to pursue their mutual delicacy, which is honey obviously, we've presented examples of animals that don't like to do things alone and which friendship is beneficial for both. Keep watching, this is going to amuse you. Hi, and welcome back to the Fact Pack channel, where we pack the amazingness from all over the world. So make yourself comfortable, and once you're ready, let's get started. Life is just better with friends, isn't it? That's as true for humans as it is for many animal species. So it's no wonder that some species have found ways to rely on one another for food, shelter, and protection from predators. It's called symbiosis, when two species form a relationship that is mutually beneficial to both parties. Here are five great examples of animal partnerships in the wild. Egyptian crocodiles and plovers. The animal partnership between the Egyptian crocodile and the plover is one that almost has to be seen to be believed. As the picture shows, the plover finds food by picking it out of the teeth of the crocodile. That's one brave bird. While it eats, it's keeping the croc's teeth clean and healthy. Food for the plover and a dental checkup for the crocodile. Ostriches and zebras. Zebras and ostriches are both prey for faster animals. As such, they both have to maintain a heightened sense of alertness for danger. The problem is that zebras, while they have excellent eyesight, don't really have a good sense of smell. Ostriches, on the other hand, have a great sense of smell but not so great eyesight. So the two smart species hang out together, relying on the eyes of the zebra and the noses of the ostriches to keep predators at bay. What are buffalo and cattle egrets? Cattle egrets live on insects, and in the savanna they have found the perfect place to hunt them, atop the omnipresent water buffalo. From their high perch, they can see the box and swoop in to nap them. But they don't just take a free ride. They earn their spot by picking harmful insects like fleas and ticks off of their big friends, and they also have a heightened sense of danger and are able to alert their host to dangers in the area. Colombian lizardback tarantulas and humming frogs. At first glance, one might just think that the Colombian lizardback tarantula doesn't eat the humming frog because he doesn't like the taste. But there is more to their relationship than that. These specific spiders and frogs have been found in the same area and even living in the same burrows as one another. From the spiders, the frogs get protection. No other predator would come close, as well as the leftovers from the spider's meal. So what do the tarantulas get in return? Well, the frogs eat ants and other insects that might otherwise feast on the tarantula's eggs. So they're basically protecting the offspring of the spiders. Honey badgers and honey guides. As their name implies, honey guides love their honey and they can find it easily. But there's just one problem. They get to it when it is inside of the beehive. Their solution? Seek out the honey badger a mammal that likes honey almost as much as they do. The honey badgers break open the beehives and grab a snack, leaving the rest of the honey for the birds to gobble up. Win-win for everyone! Thank you so much for watching this video. Give us a like if you enjoyed watching and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next videos.